I'm Michael Rogers Jr., and today I'd like to talk about the systems from the Sega. Now, I first heard about the Sega around 1991 when the Sega Genesis came out. But before that, there was a Sega Master System, which I did not know about until... Not exactly sure when. It may be five years ago, maybe six or eight. I don't know. The, uh, the Sega Genesis, I remember seeing com commercials that Mr. that came out Sonic the Hedgehog. I was kind of confused, because like, before then, I thought the only video game systems were, were, were the Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, and Nintendo Game Boys. I thought all video games were Nintendo. I thought the Sega, I thought Sonic the Hedgehog was a Nintendo game. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't really know what the product was that came with. I thought it was some kind of a, a adult product. So I'm like, yeah, I want that game, but I don't want the adult product. Yeah, of course, I first really knew better, and it took a few years before I got Sega Genesis, but my parents kids got, 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 got Sega Genesis, it, it, it started after they started, started watching me, but before they got the Sega Genesis, I got the Sega Game Gear, like, like, like I had to my parents I wanted a, a Nintendo Game Boy, then my parents told me about the Game Gear, asked me which I'd rather have. Yeah, I thought Sonic the Hedgehog was like, look, look, look cool, so I asked for the, for the Game Gear because of Sonic. I got my Sega Game Gear on, on Christmas morning, 1992. Yeah, my uh, Game Gear, he came here with the game Columns. I thought that was a really cool game. But I also got Sonic the Hedgehog 2. One of the games I really wanted. I also really wanted Sonic the Hedgehog. And for some reason, it took a while before we could actually find a copy of Sonic the Hedgehog. And it's kind of interesting how Sonic 2 was the newest one, so I would expect that to be the one well, harder find, but I got that right away. But it took a while for for me to get the yeah, first one. Cause yeah. first already did get, get that one though. There were quite a few games I played on on the on the Sega Gen Sega Game Gear. Right? It was lots of like Lemmings, which we don't really which we kind of confused about. Like the people the sub characters from Fallout or something. You got the Tasmania game. I've never been able to beat that first level. You got, got the Game Gear for the Buffers, the the Space Mutants. And, that was really difficult also. Yeah. When it comes to, to, to Sonic the Hedgehog games on the Game Gear, the only ones I've actually played on the Game Gear and not any later compilations have been Sonic, Sonic 2, and Sonic Triple Trouble. And Sonic Triple Trouble was awesome. Yeah. I played some of the other ones on, on the Sonic Mega Collection Plus. I downloaded uh, Tales of Adventures on the, on the 3 and 3 DS. And, um, I guess those are uh, so so at, at worst. Uh, okay, with the sales of Sonic Labyrinth was really difficult and annoying. Like, the others are, are at least uh, so so. But there are some greatness about them. Mm -hmm. Of course, two of my favorite Game Gear games are ones that I got yeah, for Christmas in 1994. Those were the, the Road Warrior game called, called Desert Speed Trap and, and the Lion King game. It's one of the things that got me one of the Lion King game, besides the fact that it was a really big. Uh, if I had the movie, what was the commercials, what were the kisses, it was a, a Sega Genesis or Game Gear for Christmas, and the Lion King game, and the father keeps getting distracted by, by some of the words before he thinks it's a big appearances for reindeer. <laughs> it, was, it was a really funny commercial. And both of those games, I, I managed to, to uh, beat within uh, six months. And, and the both games that I did, I was trying to figure out beat, beat the first one at first. The, 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 the World Runner one, I didn't realize that you're not supposed to trust the coyotes, like the fairy show, but I keep jumping on him and getting injured. And, you know, the uh, Lion of the King, we fight for the, the hy hyena, I didn't realize that they only supposed to, to jump on him when, he, when he's doing this. Like when he's panting. Uh, yeah, those were two of my favorite games. Also. Anyway, let's talk about our second Genesis, which I still had to more focus on. Yeah. yeah, all the Sonic games were awesome, though there were some games I think like uh, less now than they did back then, a little light like, yeah, Sonic Spin was a, a good example, so was Sonic 3 Blast, I like, like that one a lot, it, 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 less than the, the Sonic Spin Ball now. Of course, I also played the, the, the uh, like game on the, on the Sega Genesis, only that's been a lot harder than on the Game Gear. I can't remember if I ever beat the, the second level, like, I feel like I vaguely remember getting past the second level. Can't really remember. And the 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 uh, Lion game was a good one. Remember winning the Amex game. I first got to a point that I tried getting out of. The Titan vs. game, but Buzz Ten Treasure. That, that, that was really a, a fun game. Yeah. 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 Sega Genesis was real awesome. Of course, I, I remember when Sonic Three came out. I was disappointed. That was back when I only had the Game Gear. I was disappointed that Sonic Three was not. 
on the Game Gear as well. And Saga Knuckles, it's kind of a fun game, and, and the, the visual is really good, but it's, it's too hard. Of course, the, the Sega Genesis was really, really successful, but then they tried some add-ons which were not as successful, like the Sega CD. Actually, I do, do have the Sega CD. I got that on the same day they got the Sega Genesis. Yeah, I think it was mixed up things like, I think all the, the Sega CD games they got on, on the day that I got the Sega CD, I think those might be the only ones I've had. I think I figured we were borrowing some games from some people. I can't remember if I went into any. Of course, the, the, the best game that I played on the, on the Sega CD was, was a Sonic, Sonic CD. But there were some other games that kind of had the charm. Like, like I did have, have fun playing uh, Cliffhanger. I, I've never seen the Cliffhanger movie. I think I might have just recently heard about it. If it was a parody at the beginning of, of Ace Venture Over Nature Calls. It was a hockey game that I played, which was kind of fun. Of course, I remember I got my Sega Genesis and my Sega CD. I got a football game for both systems, and those was really annoying. Like, see, like almost every time you hit a ball or something, it goes back to the scoreboard. Like, I don't want to see all this stuff. I just want to be playing. There's one basketball game I have for, for the Sega Genesis called NBA Jam. I remember on Christmas, I'm like, I told my cousins every time my cousin would come over, he'd play NBA Jam. There were a lot of memorable things with NBA Jam. Anyway, besides the Sega CD, oh yeah, there's only one game on the Sega CD, only one full Boston video game on the Sega CD that we were playing. It was the Mind Morphin Power Rangers game where you just hit buttons and stuff that they match with the footage. I think that was kind of fun, that was, that was kind of confusing. Then there's other systems I never really played, like the Sega 32X. Like that one, I don't ever remember even knowing about that one until I saw the, the review by the Angry Video Game Nerd. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the Sega Saturn, which I do remember knowing about at the time. I can't remember if I ever played that. Like, I feel like I might be at somebody's house who had it, and maybe I played it, but I can't remember. And I'm pretty sure I never played the, the Sega Dreamcast, because I like, hear a lot of people lying, you know, and those who played it were big fans of it, but, but a lot of people didn't really buy it, and that's something that made Sega get out of the, the console business and, and stick with just doing games for various systems. It's kind of, it does seem kind of interesting how held in Nintendo of all companies releasing a Sonic the Hedgehog games. If for, for a long time, I wonder if Nintendo had owned Sega or not, because the games was a lot of Mario and Sonic games, and some other Sonic ones being on the Nintendo system, but then I knew that some Sonic games were very on. I mean, also the fact that, that Sonic the Hedgehog appeared to Smash Brothers, but then, then I knew that some of the Sonic games were on other systems, a lot like the Xbox and PlayStation systems. Because I saw, saw, saw that the Mario Sonic games were actually made, made by uh, Sega, or uh, Mario being uh, licensed by Nintendo, and because part of that's supposed to be a deal to get Sonic the Hedgehog appearance to Smash Brothers. Thanks for those things up. Uh, those are things that I think. Those are a lot of things that I would say about Sega. Or should I say, SEGA!